What's going on, my fellow miners? Welcome back. The 3090 Ti is here. It's here. I don't have one. I'm probably not going to get one because uh, that's a lot of money. We're talking about $2,000 MSRP. That's a lot of money. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. We're going to talk about the 3090 Ti and the hash rate, how much watts it takes, and uh, whether it's not worth it. So let me know in the comment section, are you picking one up? I'd love to hear it. So the 3090 is here, and or 3090 Ti is here. And what's interesting is that this is coming out around the same time that stock for graphics cards are kind of going back to normal. Um, I've been able to find a lot of 3080s, 3080 Ti's, 3090s for pretty close to MSRP when it comes to like, uh, oh, what is it? Uh, not not the stock founder editions, but the um, the partner boards, right? So like the EVGA cards and things like that. Like you can find them at Best Buy now, like on the website at least. You can find them at Amazon. Um, EVGA has them on their websites. You see MSI stock returning. And it's really, really cool. Like I'm really happy to see that. Um, specifically on the 3080s, you see the 12 gigabyte variants start to be pushed out more. Uh, you know, I, I still would love to get my hands on a 3080 or 3080 Ti just because uh, for production purposes. And yeah, I'd be mining on it too if I picked one up. But, you know, they're still pretty, pretty pricey. You're talking about like, you know, easily $1,200 for 3080 still. But regardless, stock is returning. You're, you're able to pick them up. Now, a 3090 Ti is here. And a 3090 Ti, whether or not you pick one up is more of like a, a should you pick one up type of thing. You know, like you have... So looking at looking at the specs, right? So the specs right here, 3090 Ti is around 30 or 130 mega hash to 135 mega hash mining Ethereum. Now, we all know that Ethereum is eventually going away. What we what I would like to know, and maybe those of you guys who picked up a 3090 Ti can help me out here. What does it get for hash rate on other coins? Because we need to plan for the future when it comes to mining. Right. So if we need to plan for the future, I would like to know what does it mine for other coins? What does it mine? Mining Conflux, Ergo, Ravencoin, uh, although Ravencoin, not so much. Uh, Flux, you know, like just the different coins. What is it mine? What does it get for the hash rate at 133 mega hash? That's not bad, especially at 350 uh, watts while mining. That's not bad. But taking consideration what a regular 3090 does, and then it doesn't really look so good anymore. So a regular 3090 mines on average about 120 mega hash on uh, on Ethereum. Now 120 mega hash on Ethereum nets you about 470 a day as of this recording. And yes, I'm using Nice Hash's profitability calculator, and they, yes, they pay out in Bitcoin, but it's still it's still a good way to do it. And plus, it's very easy to switch between them. So 3090 Ti. Yes, it's going to net you more money, which is fine, but it costs quite a bit more. And the thing is, like, if you're buying a 3090 Ti, yeah, you're probably doing it for bragging rights. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And here's the thing. If we're looking at Best Buy's website, right, like, as it is, I mean, right here, sold out, like... There's no way that we're going to get, I mean, if you're, if you're lucky, right? If you're lucky, you get a 3090 Ti for MSRP at $2,000. But then you look underneath it and you see a 3090 for $2,400. I mean, that, that's that's typically what they're around is that $2,000 mark for a 3090. And so when you think about it, I, assuming you can get one for $2,000, I mean, look, I, I won't, I'm not going to sit here and tell you no, but that's, you're not looking at a good return on investment. I'm just saying that, you know, you're sitting here in one month, $150. I mean, that's, that's not the best thing. You know, that's, that's all I'm saying. That is not the best thing. $150 in one month. If you spend two thousand dollars on this GPU, two thousand plus because there's taxes, you're looking at a return on investment in about thirteen months. That is that's a long time, and that's on Ethereum. 
Now, again, Ethereum, who knows when it's going to go to Ethereum 2.0? I mean, it's it's a meme at this point um, just because it's constantly, oh, yeah, Ethereum 2.0 is coming. It's winter's coming. Um, you know, I it's it's one of those things that eventually you have to make the switch. We don't know when that switch is going to be to a different coin. So I want to know what it mines for other coins. If you guys have a 3090 Ti, what does it mine for other coins? Sound off in the comment section. I would love to hear it. Uh, as far as whether or not I would pick one up, I, I'm not, I, no, no. Just it's too much money. I can't afford it. And it's just, it's not worth it for me. I mean, it's just bragging rights. It's about like 10% faster than a 3090 it's it's just bragging rights i i'd rather like i said i'd rather have a 3080 or 3080 ti just personally just because i you know for production purposes i don't need anything more than that and a 3080 even lhr which is a 10 gigabyte variant because now there's three of them still nets you three dollars a day uh which is not bad at all and then if you take in the 12 gigabyte i think it's a little bit less yeah it's a little bit less almost three dollars a day uh, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things. If I get a 3080 Ti still around that same $3 a day, um, it's one of those things that it, you know, if you got the money for it, I'm not going to stop you. You do you. But, uh, if you do, if you do buy one, help us out here, let us know what it mines for other coins, because I'm sure other people are curious as well. Until then guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up, s skip Skype, subscribe. If you're new, <laughs> I can't form words and I'll see you guys in the next video. Everybody happy mining.